G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now look, something very unusual has happened this week and I can't understand why so many people hate Tamiya. <laughs> now that sounds a bit hypocritical coming from me, doesn't it? After I've made videos about, you know, how boring I found their kits and, you know, and basically I thought they were overpriced and expensive and, and how disappointed I was with so many of them. Sure, all those things are true and they're still true. But I felt I'm open-minded enough to give Tamiya a go. So I've got this Formula 1 car, right? I've been building, and um, it's great. Great big 112 scale, a lot of fun. There's heaps of things wrong with it that I get to fix. I am enjoying it, but it's a 1960s kit. It's from that era. It's from my era when I was young. So, you know, I'm happy to do that. And I thought, you know, my viewers would come along the journey with me and explore it. But no, they're fleeing like rats from a ship. <laughs> Literally, ship, yeah. I'm actually in my balcony marina, but I'll talk to you about that later on. So... I wondered why do people hate Tamiya? Is it, you know, is it just you're going to say one brand is crap all the way through? And that's not true. And I'll explain more about that in a sec. So I think we really need to have a chat about this. So, um, yeah, one of these is going to be the unbranded Gooch. Let's find out why people hate Tamiya. <laughs> Roll the music. Merchandise is available at my store. There'll be a link somewhere around here, you know, or it'll be in the description. You can look there. Or you can ask me, contact me. I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> now, look, a uh, big shout out to my um, patrons and my buyer curry, right? Buy me a curry, people. You have been fantastic the last few weeks. You have got me through with those curries. I have not starved. So thank you so much. You know who you are, don't you, Angus? <laughs> Mate, really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, if you want to support my channel, there's links here. There'll be links at the end. Patreon's really good. Buy Me A Curry is fantastic. Um, there's a number of other ways that you can support this channel. But, um, yeah, because YouTube pays. Anyhow, enough of that. Uh, why do people hate Tamiya? Well, a lot of people love Tamiya, right? A lot of people are excited about Tamiya. In fact, some people are overexcited about Tamiya. And I've talked about that in previous videos about how oh, I don't really like the uh, Tamiya fanboy mentality where they shove it down your throat. And that can put you off. And there's, you know, in response to my videos where I just told the truth. I explained my feelings about what happened to me and my observations. It was all truths. And so many people got all upset and said, that's your opinion. Well, not an opinion. It was an observation. It was a fact. It really happened. Those things happened to me. Those things I talked about existed. They were real. But as I said, I'm uh, I'm not that close-minded and fixed about everything. Then I realised there are good and bad hits. I mean, Airfix. I love Airfix, right? But there is some absolute rubbish Airfix kits out there. I've talked about, right, the little Hawker Fury. Absolute rubbish kit. Airfix has reboxed it, reboxed the heck out of it. It wasn't probably that good a kit to start with. I believe some of you told me that it's an old pyro kit that they basically made as an Airfix kit. And in the new plastic and in a nice shiny red box, it is horrible. And fuselage lengths were different and things were warped. It was absolute garbage for the price I paid. I mean, if I paid $5 for it, right, half a shekel, sure. But no, it was like a, you know, four shekel kit in a nice shiny red box. So, yeah. And then there's Airfix kits from like 1975. We did that review on the um, eBoot. Fantastic kit. Even though it's 50 years old, it's still a fantastic kit and it still holds up well today. So there you go. Airfix can have rubbish kits and can have good kits. So, you know, I won't say, oh, Airfix is rubbish because of one kit. And I won't say Airfix is absolutely brilliant all the time because of one kit. No, there's there's variation. But generally, I like Airfix just because of nostalgia. Right? I have no nostalgia for Tamiya. This is the thing. No nostalgia whatsoever. Didn't build it. My first Tamiya kit, as we explained in other videos, wasn't until well into the 21st century. And boy, what a disappointment that was. But that was more the fault of the person at the shop introducing me to what was a rubbish Tamiya kit. And everything stemmed from there. But that's not what I want to talk about here. What I want to talk about is um, I'm building this Honda Formula 1 car, right? Now, it's not a ship, okay? Yeah, I know. You know people are saying, where do the masks go, Harry? How are you going to put this in the water? Well, it's not a ship. It's a Formula One car. It's something different, okay? I'm showing that I can build a Tamiya kit, that I can find one that I'm interested in. Becca, for years, my mate Becca from Becca's Models, has been trying hard to find me a Tamiya kit that I'd like. And he's given me so many, I've gone, and I've just, you know, got rid of them, given them back. 
And finally, with the Formula One car, because a lot of people in my last 10 year videos, you know, um, said, look, try the motorbikes, try the Formula One cars. You'll love them. They are different. They're not as boring as the aircraft, generally speaking. OK, and they're not, you know, as under detailed as the old tanks and, and, and ship kits and everything, generally speaking. I know specific kits are really fantastic, but it's kind of a general run of Tamiya kits that are pretty ordinary, really. And they require no skill to build. And that was my main objection. That <laughs> So anyhow, the Formula 1 car turned up, I loved it, I reviewed it, I was pretty excited about it, couldn't wait to get into it, had a few delays, but finally now, now that I've got an arm back, okay, I um, no longer have a tendon here, right? You know, when you do that, well this arm cannot do that anymore, I can never ever pop that muscle up, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, think about that, I am now really muscleless. <laughs> anyhow, none of that. Um, so. I'm building this Formula 1 car. I'm really excited about it. I'm learning things. I'm doing things. I'm having fun. And I'm doing videos that I think are really good, you know. And every time a Tamiya video has gone up, oh, you know, a massive amount, more than I usually get in subscribers, have left. What have I done? Did I Do I stink, right? I mean, have I stopped the swearing? Is that what you don't like? I don't know. I think it's Tamiya phobia. And, okay, I haven't changed my tune. Tamiya kits still are generally, most of them I find boring. Formula One, no. Tamiya kits generally are overpriced. Even these Formula One cars are some of the ridiculous prices. I mean, basically, Becker in the end, I paid him five shekels for it, okay? Uh, which is 50 Australian dollars, right? Uh, that was a great price. I mean, I see them going cheap as you get, it's probably about 16 shekels, and some of them are up to like 30 shekels, right? <laughs> I paid five, and people are asking 30 shekels for that kit, plus postage from another country. I mean, you pay ridiculous prices. Why? Because of the Tamiya hype and the Tamiya name. That I object to. But you can hunt around, and you can get these Formula One cars for reasonable money. You know, you get them from basically people selling deceased estate stash, or, you know, occasionally there's bargains here and there. And I've got my eye at the moment on a Lotus JPS, a black one. Because I used to see them, I used to watch them racing when I was a kid. This is the thing. The Formula One car for me is nostalgia. I watched these kind of racing cars when I was a kid. I watched Jack Brabham racing around in the Lotus that he had, you know? And um, it has a lot of, well, the memories. There's memories and things attached to it that make me feel good. So for me, building this kit, I feel really good about it. But as I say, I've been sharing it. That's not to say there's been the abuse that I got from the Tamiya videos, did. No, not at all, not at all. A number of my viewers even said, I would never have considered doing like a Formula 1 car, but gee, that looks interesting. Because they've seen me build it, they actually took the time to watch the video. It wasn't their thing, wasn't their bag, but a lot of people who watch my channel know, you know, I'm not building tanks, but a lot of what I do is applicable to any kind of modelling. And anyhow, you know, sometimes I hope you just enjoy them, because I prattle on and crack a lot of irreverent jokes and, you know, just basically talk about my life. And, um, you know, my fondness for my... Uh, my demanding cat. <laughs> yeah, so my videos are just me, my life, the fun that I'm having, and enjoying the modeling. It doesn't matter what I'm building, right? It doesn't matter at all. I could be building a 12 foot long phallus, all right? With great big watermelon size, you know? Yeah, and it wouldn't matter. That's a model. And if I'm enjoying it, I'd hope that you watch that too, because I'm just sharing the joy of modeling with you. So why people are tuning out because it's Tamiya or is it Formula One or did they um, get upset when I hurt my arm? Well, that's it. He's gone. He's useless. Yeah, Quasimodo, he's no good. He's not going to be good for modelling anymore. Don't know. Don't know. If you left the channel and then you've kind of gone, oh, what's this video? He's slagging off Tamiya again. And that's why I've done this one. Clickbait. Yes, it is. And um, I'm having to catch for those people to say, what was the problem? What was it? I will do these funny videos. I haven't felt like being funny for the last six weeks, believe me. I've been in too much pain and I've been on too much buddy kind of drugs to buddy stop the pain. So I haven't really been in funny bone mood. But I'm getting better. I'm not on the drugs anymore, okay? I'm off the drug. Okay, the medical prescribed drugs. Yes, yeah. <coughs> None of that. Can't do any of that. Can't do any swearing. Yeah, there hasn't been any swearing in the videos because, you know, basically we can't ship it. And um, there can't be any cunning stunts. And, you know, there's no fire trucks. No, no, none of that. No. And I even had to remove my um, live videos, which are full of, you know, uh, creative, colourful blue language. Uh, they're all over on, um, uh, I'll put a link to it. They're on 
sort of a, a backdoor, backweb sort of dark site. You can go watch them there, full of cussing. But I can't run those on YouTube anymore, no. They demonetize you completely. Like one bad video and they're all poisoned. Anyhow, look, um, I don't know what the issue is. I mean, if I see someone doing a video of something and it's not really my subject, but I like the modeler, I'll watch a bit of it to see what it's about. And sometimes I get engaged. I go, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not into figure painting, but I've watched figure painting videos. I've not really been into motor vehicles much, but I've watched motor vehicle videos, right? And, you know, it's even like Becker's building his big bloody uh, jet from, from from Top Gun. Not interested, not interested in Top Gun? No, I'm not. <laughs> really not interested in Top Gun. I didn't enjoy it when it first came out, and I can't watch it now. I have my reasons. It just doesn't grab me, okay? And it doesn't have to. We don't all respond the same way to different things, you know? I'd rather watch the Minion movie. <laughs> Italy, right? Now, I had some dreadful Italy kits, right? Uh, I built the um, Schwimm wagon. It's horrible, but I made a go of it, okay? That um, Fiat that I got, the big one, was commission job. Ah, oh, gave me nightmares. That was horrible, okay? But it's not going to stop me buying Italy kits. In fact, I have a couple in the stash. I have the Sparrow, right, which is a wonderful aircraft, and their kit for the Sparrow, 170 seconds, quite good, okay? And I have, oh, what else have I got? I've got a, um, I made a tiny little matchbox. I think it was a CR32, and there's a 42, might have the numbers wrong, um, which is a biplane, sort of Italian one, right? And um, thoroughly love the camo on it, thoroughly love the subject, and I was recommended, the Italian, the Italy kit's quite good, so I bought it, okay? And I'll give them a try, I'll give them a fair go, and hopefully they are reasonably good kits. You, you just never know, you just never know at all. So that's the thing. You need to read the reviews. You need to have an open mind. You need to ask around and say, who makes the best one of these? And sometimes it's a manufacturer you wouldn't think. It's a Vesta, right? It's a Vesta. I have built some god-awful Vesta kits. The BT-7 that I had, right? 90% of that ended up being aftermarket or scratch because it was a dreadful kit. It was absolutely woeful. In that case, I should have bought the Tamiya kit. I say at the end of the last video, after the whole thing, I went... You can do all this and you can achieve all that, but quite frankly, go and buy the Tamiya kit because it is so much better. And you, all this stuff that I've done is already pretty well in the kit. So there you go. I gave Tamiya the go back then. Although now I'd say build the, um, I think it's Hobby Boss, or it was an Academy. I don't know, there's a BT2 kit that I've got. I really like. Might be an Academy kit, not sure. And that that's the nice one now. So there you go. But with Zvezda, right? Horrible kits. Horrible kit. At least the old ones were. Dreadful. <laughs> Copies of things and absolutely woeful. Didn't fit, yeah. but then I built the Varag, right? And the Varag, beautiful kit. Admittedly, this is often the case. It's a famous ship of theirs. It's a Russian ship, okay? So this is the thing. If you build Airfix when it's a British subject, they'll usually try to get it right. If you build, you know, Revel and it's a German subject, like they're submarines, right? Revel milks, a lot of kits are kind of ordinary, but they're okay, you know, they're good for starter models or something. But then you go and build the Rebel u ah, oh, they're trained fantastic, okay? And that's the thing. Uh, horses for courses. And the same with Tamiya. Right? There's no need to hate Tamiya. You can be pissed off with the prices. I am. You're going to be annoyed by the fanboys. I am. I think they're all a bunch of jerks when they carry on. Generally speaking, there's a lot of guys out there just build Tamiya and they're fine, okay? <laughs> Quickly, because this video has run longer than I expected, this is the new Balcony Marina, all right? It's got um, lots of ship kits, all right? <laughs> and I will be getting back to the bounty. So the ships are coming back. Don't worry if you're thinking, oh, no, Harry's never going to build a ship. It's all on that schedule. I think I need to publish that schedule. It's all on that schedule. Ships are back. The um, Airfix, Sunderland, next month. It's all happening. Got the whole year planned out. There'll be something for everybody. And I hope that you'll come on the journey with me. And I'll put these kind of videos in every now and then. All right. Well, if you did enjoy this video, <laughs> and you made it all the way through to the end without going, don't you say anything about Tamiya. There's no need to get upset. I don't hate any of the brands, right? Except for, well, the only thing I didn't like was that stupid fit from, yeah. <clears throat> but I don't hate Italy. I don't hate every, I don't hate anything, really. No point. No point. All right. If you did get this far, hit the like. All right. Or is it here? Hit the like. <laughs> like this video because that helps the algorithm. Comment by all means. Just be respectful about it, okay? Subscribe to the channel. Come back. <laughs> or if you're new to the channel, 
Yeah, hit that. And look, if you really want to help me out, as I said before, buy me a curry. Yeah, when you buy me a curry, I see most of the curry. Um, if you do, super thanks. Yeah, I don't get the sauce, mate. I don't get the meat. I don't get anything. I might get a pea. Yeah, it's that bad. Yeah, it's not what it's cracked up to be. So anyhow, buy me a curry. It really helps me out. Get on a Patreon. That's really great. If you can put your support there, then you'll see the videos advert free and basically a day early. Yeah. And you'll get to chat to me and do things. You get daily updates, all kinds of stuff. You just get more of me. It's all about me. But it's my channel. Of course it's all about me. <laughs> all right. That's all I've got to say. It's goodbye from Australia. And it's Huru from Harry Houdini. <laughs>